Today out to stop Manly's run, Alexander, McIndoe, Izzard, Bentley, Smith, Mortimer and Carter are the backs. The forwards, Kennedy, Cartwright, Dyer, Kelly, Simmons and Tucks. The home side hits the field. Flying high, the Penrith flags. A side that should be in the big end of season games this year. Two wins from two games for this Manly side, led out by their, their skipper, Michael O'Connor. Confidence gradually coming back. Stokes, Townsend, Hasler, O'Connor and Iro, Lyons and Tooby in the forwards. Ryan, Dumford, Jones, Hoskins, Russell and Bella. And the similar colours, brown and white and maroon and white, but they are certainly the Manly fly flags that are flying. Referee today is Eddie Ward. Checks both teams. We're underway. Down for little Tooby. Ten metres out from his own line. They said going into this match that Penrith Pack would be too strong. This opening 10 or 15 minutes is where we should find out about that. Hosking. Heavy responsibility for that man, Bella. They smothered him. Geyer and Kelly. Back for Stokes. He was knocked down after he kicked it. Not a lot to it, but Geyer still did go through with it. He would have been better off if he just had a thought. Graham Lowe. The manly coach. O'Connor. About 41 metres out. Strikes it pretty well. Does it have the legs? No, it hit the crossbar. It just died on him right at the finish. Carter. Alexander. That's his own 22 line. Tunks. He did well to unload for Kennedy, but he couldn't improve the situation. Eddie Ward will, though, for the Panthers. He gives them a penalty. 32 away from Manley's line now. Kennedy. Tucks. Good head on defence. Penalty. Goes against Tucks. Yeah, Tunk's guilty of a little bit of uh, aggression in the uh, tackle there. You can see that he uh, uses the elbow on the uh, player on the ground. There it is. Bang. The left hand. Or the left arm. This is a great opportunity for the Panthers. Des Hazler will be picked for offside if he's not very careful. And Alexander working the scrum too. Chosen at fullback but working that scrum. The Panthers 10 metres away from the manly line. This is Kennedy. Eight metres short now the Panthers. Here comes Kelly. The pass back for Geyer. The big man is pulled down three metres short of the line. Simmons dummy half to Carter to Alexander. Making himself an easy target by slide slipping. Now Carter from dummy half. Out for Kennedy and out to the unmarked wing of Smith. But the pass has gone forward. Smith not happy with the call. Now the restart from right on the halfway mark. It's Big Bella charges into the forwards. That's a monumental run. Big run from Bella in outstanding form early in this year. Hoskins going well too through the ruck. This is Hoskins playing the football 32 metres away with Tuvi and now Lyons. And the pass back inside for Ryan. Lyons dummy half. This time away for Jones. Pull down right on the Penrith quarter line. Tuvi, blind side. Looks for support, got the pass away for Ryan. Five tackles gone for Manley. It's with Lyons. The kick across field. Stokes is out there. The ball is going to beat everybody. Yes, sir. Uh, uh... Simmons back for Alexander. This is over Iroh's head. But bouncing away from the touchline. Smith is hot on the trail. Iroh across field. Got away from Tunks. Got away from Warren. We've got the pass away anyway. And now the Manly side suddenly turning defence into attack. Yes, good on the counter-attack. Townsend will play at 32 metres out from his own line. Back for Lyons. Saw the little gap on his own. 
and Connor taken out of the play. Back for Hosking. Five metres short of the halfway mark. Now it's away for Dunford. That's the way to come onto the football. Russell, good run from the uh, dummy half. Last tackle signal against Manly. The Lions. And it's come off Smith. Manly forwards are certainly hitting the advantage line. Quick play of the balls. Penalty comes their way. Inside the five metres. Very talented, a workaholic defender, and a free-running ball-using forward. He's definitely going close, there's no question about it. O'Connor strikes this one very well. That went dead in goal, two points to Manly. They grabbed the lead, 2-0 over Penrith. This field might be a little bit heavier than what it looks, Billy. Just a tad slick on top, Graham. Brad Izzard, in fact, changing his boots. He didn't go in with a long spike, so he's going to uh, address that problem now. So the Panthers inside the Manly quarter, launching another raid. Simmons dummy half, he's given it away for Tunks. Now back for Mortimer. Inside goes Bentley. Toby's grabbed hold of him. Now it's for Carter. Out for Kelly. And he's about 13 metres away from the Manly line. Back for Carter. For Kennedy. Crunched in the tackle. Eight metres short of the line. Guy. Guy putting his kick in. Up he goes. He's got tremendous height but can't get higher than Iroh, who's probably taller than him. So Iroh brings it back. Back for Jones. Well, they're not suffering by comparison in the forwards at this stage of the game. They're hitting the advantage line tremendously hard, all the manly forwards, and making as much ground as uh, the Penrith side, even a little bit more. Tuvian and Lyons, and now O'Connor, caught by Louis Mortimer. Five tackles gone for Manly. Lyons. Looking for Hathaway's been picked up by Isa. I'm away from McIndoe, they won't catch him. Put the glasses down. Once you give this man any room at all, it is a try, and that's exactly what McIndoe is doing underneath the black dot for the Panthers. Stokes is there for it. And he's gone straight through two defenders. Over the halfway mark now. And then lost the football as Mortimer made the tackle. Guy has picked it up for the Panthers. This is Carter. Ducked under a high tackle from Stokes. Yeah, that was a bit of stupidity from Stokes there. He had no reason. He was in an offside position. He'd never been onside. Lost the ball and they picked it up. And uh, he came back with a, a clubbing sort of a, a stiff arm that missed. Sheer frustration. Tunks. Now Carter. Five tackles used up by the Panthers. This is Alexander. Familiar kick and chase, but pulled in by Ryans. A Ryan away for Stokes. And then a horror pass from Stokes. Making life very tough for Townsend. In fact, he's gone over the touchline. They're putting all the pressure on themselves. Mortimer for Alexander Izzard. He brushed Hasler out of the way. Ryan has got a struggle to bring him down. Penrith fired up now. Geyer standing tall. Back for Alexander. Stepping. Carter. He must shift the ball. He had men left over. Alexander a dummy half. Geyer. Cartwright, around the back, back and down, try! Oh, great ball! What great skill from Cartwright! How did he keep that alive for try number two? Out there on the wing, Cartwright. Late on that try, superb. That one's forward. Eddie Ward's got that. And a correct decision to be a penalty too. Yes, little doubt about it. There was the player coming through on the inside in an offside position, so the referee has two options. He can call it a, a forward pass or he can call it uh, offside. And on that occasion, it was fairly obvious it had to be offside. Stokes has left the field at the moment. Whether or not it uh, couldn't be a head bend, he's limping. And now it's time. They know they've got to put points on the board. Ryan showing it to a couple of players. And finally, it's Tuvi who has it. Now Hasler. 
then O'Connor and quick hands for Townsend back inside just outside the Penrith quarter Haslam will play the football Ryan Lyons one dummy and then for Russell now Hancock Lions again. Pass, which is a horrible pass. And Connor has it. And then he's thrown one to Des Hasler, which Hasler had no chance of picking up. <laughs> Carter working the scrum. Mortimer. Here's McIndoe again. And Connor's back there to retrieve it. Lost it too. I think you'll find that McIndoe might more have it. He does. So everything going the Panthers' way, except that pass. Hosking picks it up from Manly. No dummy half, so he's able to put it on the ground, tap it forward, and make another 10 or 12 metres. Now he's looked for the penalty and got it. <laughs> this is Tuvi. Only a passing ball, but not much forward progress. That's a bit of tautology. I'm sorry about that. that you? I'm sorry about that. So this scrum will go down, 32 metres away from the Panthers line. Mortimer. He's still got a bit of pace off the mark for an old fella, hasn't he? He sure has. Eight handling errors to the Manly side, four to the Panthers. Kelly's been able to offload it for Tunks. Tunks to the quarter line, losing the football forward. Picked up by Russell for Manly. Iro. Iro's gone straight through. Now Iro looks for some support. And he finds it too from, from uh, Hancock. Hancock it was. And Hancock's pass has been kicked forward. But the penalty has gone to the Penrith side. Offside play from Hasler. Manly having a great deal of trouble controlling the football. Playing right into the Penrith hands. Kennedy. Kennedy back in the blind side, been picked up by Lyons, being chased by Smith. He's got to the halfway mark before Smith picked him up. Hancock dummy half, now for O'Connor. Now they require a quick play the ball. This is White, caught by Mortimer, 32 metres away from the Penrith line. If Manley are going to score, they need to do it now. Tuvi, looking back inside for Ryan, then Tuvi again. Now Hasler, for Lyons, now for O'Connor. <laughs> Defense from the Penrith side, five tackles used up. Lions again resorting to the bomb, see what they can do. Up goes Alexander, takes it calmly. First class take by Alexander, stood his ground, no uh, thought of self there, and even managed to turn his body slightly to the oncoming traffic and just take all the, uh, all the impetus off the charge. It was good stuff. I like the look of him at fullback. And welcome back to Penrith Park here at the foot of the Blue Mountains. In this game between the Panthers and Manly and the Panthers in front, 10 points to two. Bella. Russell, back for Lions. He just waits that to try and keep it in play. Alexander will bring it back from his own in goal. Taken by O'Connor. Okay, right 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 right. Apparently the news is that that is a continuation of that groin injury for Gaia. Becoming a headache for Coach Bill Gill. Bella. Looking for an early try in this second half, Manly. Hosking. Hosking apparently in real trouble and signalling to the bench that he may not last. A 
Alexander. Hosking. He makes it 10 metres out. That might be his last run. Russell to Tuvi. And Lyons in behind the back line. Alexander was there along with Carter. McIndoe. And they have a replacement sideline. As Carter brings it away. Dunford. Still going. Still going. Got it back for Russell. Russell on the quarter line. Picked up by Lyons. This is Tooby. Tooby's given it away to O'Connor. Try time for Manley. O'Connor in the corner. That's exactly what the Manley side had needed. Let's have a look at what he can do with this one. It's not a bad looking kick, but it swung around a little too late. Can't have the extras and the score. Penrith 10 now. Manley is 6. Deep as Lions, Ira. Left footer. Down to give Alexander some chasing. Oh, fine kick in the, in the end. Turby with no option there to put the ball in. Well, this is the fourth time he's blown it up. You would expect a penalty the next time, or Manly winning the ball. Manly do just that. Turby! Great acceleration. Ryan. Iro has joined in from fullback, goes without it. Lions change. Oh, that was an easy try, but they worked it well. Lions let a decoy go through, brought it back, and they opened up the Panthers. Well, that's a marvellous thing for young Jones, as uh, an early uh, part of his career. Here's Lions away there to Jones, and he really has a fairly simple try. It must be said, it's a, a bit of a soft try on the blind side there. They switch the play. From Lyons out to Jones, and he ran round the defence, got inside tucks. He's starting to get a little bit closer to the post, but it's not going to do him any good. What a match on our hands now. 10 all, Penrith and Manley. Chris White again. Kelly underneath, last tackle. Lyons wants to run it. They've got an overlap, that's why. Hancock. Back for Dunford, and Hasler, great play, can he get to his feet? He can, there was nothing wrong with that, the crowd don't like it, but that last pass was a horror. They've lost it forward, Penrith have it. They had the Panthers struggling, but they couldn't finish it off with that final pass. Now the crowd want a penalty again. Tunks, a slippery field here after a lot of rain during the weekend overnight in Sydney. Kelly. Real collision between he and Bella. Over the top went Jones. Kennedy ducked it. Mortimer. He's in the forwards now and he does a good job for them on this occasion. Carter kicking behind Ryan who's dropped back. Is it going to stay in play? No, it won't. It'll come back to the 22. Just when you thought Penrith were looking winners Manly are right back in this football game all locked up at 10 now Jones running very strongly Hasler from dummy half Hasler's gone straight through takes play inside the Penrith half I'm sure he's told uh, Hasler to become more involved in the play getting closer to the ruck area when uh, he's not in a set position of a scrum here he is again getting it away for White Now Bella, switch of play through Russell and Tooby. Tooby, Tooby in the clear, over the corner, looking for support now. One dummy, pull down, still going. Eight metres short of the line. Manly on the charge. The little kick ahead from O'Connor. But the Panthers come up with it. Oh, beautiful stop there by uh, Alexander. Really, that was a slip catch. <laughs> it was a try at the end of that if he'd allowed that to go into the in goal area. So oh, now Manley starting to find plenty of holes in this Penrith side. And the Panthers just 10 metres out from their own line. 
There's quite a few hands on hips in the Penrith side. Well, the big forwards really huffing and puffing at the moment. Now, this is down for Iroh. Fittler's got him. Well, he's terribly casual when things come to him. He's terribly casual until he starts to really go. And it's all... It takes too long for mine for him to get wound up. Hancock will play the football. Five metres from the halfway mark. The has missed tackles. The Panthers have now missed 17 of them, compared to just eight against Manly. Bella, the big man, straight ahead. Bumping defenders out of the way. Good I run. I noticed Peter Tunks pushing himself up off the ground then. That's a sure sign that front row forwards are getting tired when that happens. Now Manly has used up five tackles. They're just outside the Penrith quarter. This is Lyons. Leaking up with Townsend. Now for Tanza. Straight ahead. Back for Simmons. Simmons along the ground for Tanza. Now Cartwright. Now back for Fittler. Five tackles gone. Are we going to look at a field goal attempt? They're right in front. Here's Alexander. Here it comes. It's a terrible kick. Russell. Nowhere to go. Now Iroh, a little juggling act. Last tackle signal against Manly. Lions. Sending Alexander across, but that's a great kick from Lions. Connor is uh, receiving attention in back play. This is the last tackle. Lions with the kick ahead. Picked up by Carter. Straight away giving it to uh, Alexander. Big tackle of Tuvi. And finally grounded 10 metres short. O'Connor still flattening his back. He's very, very groggy, Michael O'Connor. The Panthers just about on the halfway mark. Mortimer. Cartwright. Caught by Ryan. He's going to have to come from the field, O'Connor. He's in deep trouble. Well, let's have a look and see what uh, happened to him. There is me, I think, apparently folded underneath him in the tackle. It wasn't as a result of the tackle. He just seemed to go. Fittler will play it. Let's come back for Alexander. Trying to link up with McIndoe. Back inside for Bentley. Back at Bentley got it away to McIndoe. McIndoe's given it away to Wizard, who's put it down. And it's a Manly ball. The knock on from both sides. Manly had been enjoying it down the other end. Walker. They've got a tackle now, the Sea Eagles. Switch. Alexander. Easy for Smith. They took it in two tackles. They switched it down the blind. And they caught them out short. They're smiling. Well... <laughs> Someone's upside down at this moment. If they kick it, it might be Manly. He hit it nice. He hit it great. Cartwright. There but a room for him to stretch out. Penalty. There is a chance here for Penrith to wrap it up through a kick at goal. That could just about put Manly out of touch. Coming round. They haven't moved. That should be just about it. Alexander on a string, 18-10. So Manly, with it all to do now. And Penrith making it clear they want to play the rest of this game in this half. Penrith have been searching for a goal-kicking fullback. And certainly Alexander is filling that bill. 15 metres away from the Penrith line. 2v. Now it's back for Dunford. Jones. 2v. Got himself away from one defender. Back for Ira, who's put it down. Picked up by Hancock eventually. <laughs> Good persistence there by McIndoe, driving back about 20 metres. 
Now White, another front row forward putting his foot to the football. Smith in the in goal. Caught by Ryan. And just, just got into the field of play. Lazard brings it out a few more metres. Now Simmons. Tunks. Nothing fancy now from Penrith as Tunks almost found himself in the clear. Vitanza. Nice ball away for Walker, who's still in the clear. He was tackled and then he was free and then he was finally tackled again. Five tackles gone. This is the last one. Mortimer. Alexander. Alexander showing that brilliant acceleration. Coming back in field. Still going, Alexander. Oh, what a sensational individual try. Oh, that's champion stuff from Greg Alexander. The brilliant fullback. And I think he'll be wearing number one for Penrith for a while now. That was absolutely marvellous. We saw Dale Shearer for the Brisbane side put on a try or a, a pullback performance the other night, which was absolutely sublime. He did everything magnificently. Well, this young fella hasn't done terribly much wrong. Just watch him weave his way through the manly side. Comes to the fullback, goes back on the inside, straightens up and goes again. Can he put the extras on? Why not? He's done oh, everything else yeah. today. 11 metres in from touch. And I guess there was never a doubt, was there? <laughs> Alexander can do no wrong. 24 to 10. The Panthers have Manly. So this will be the last scrum of the match. I would assume Tuvi works it. Here's Lions. Townsend. And there is the siren. Referee Eddie Ward signals full time. And the Penrith Panthers are victorious against Manly as the brown and white flags fly high. The match was certainly just waiting for somebody to turn it around late today, and our State Bank man of the match just did that. Greg Alexander, it was tight. That scoreline probably doesn't uh, really show a true indication. No, we uh, we lapsed a bit in the first first bit of the second half there, and uh, you know you can't afford to do that to a side like Manly. And they hit back, and then you know to our credit, we we stuck it to them again. You're wearing number one on the back, but you're not there on all occasions. You're certainly up in that front line. No, I think, uh, you know, Gus has given me, a, you know, free reign. And, you know, if I think something's on, I, I can come up into the front line and, uh, you know, put something on. You said something was confidently on when you scored that final try. Yeah, um, you know, I think, to our credit, you know, Louie and, uh, it's good running off Louie and Brad Fittler. Um, you know, they, they give, me, give me a bit of space out there. And uh, uh, when you've got some blokes like Al McIndoe and Paul Smith to throw dummies to, you know, it's pretty easy to go through the gaps. Well, you're running off the State Bank right now. $1,000 straight into a State 1 account from them. Congratulations to our man on the match. Thanks, Graham. Thanks, uh, State Bank and Channel 10. A win for Penrith that I thought showed plenty of character. Phil Gould at 10-all. Uh, I thought that Manly were the better side for about 15 minutes or so. They came back all your boys. Uh, the 15 minutes after half-time, yeah. I definitely thought that. We probably invited them back with a bit of dull play, and uh, we were in that comfort zone. We were eight points in front, and we controlled most of the first half. So... Uh, but Manly are the sort of side that can turn on you pretty quickly if you're not on your game. And they snapped a couple of tries. I think, too, that it's a sign of a good side who can pull themselves out of that low and finish the way we did. 